Oh my goodness. Do you see this? If you guys have not already, sit back, relax, take a hit. You know what time it is. We're getting into another one of these. Let's go. Oh, what's up, babe? I was just saying that I have not shaved this entire quarantine, but honestly, I don't have any excuse because Marcel has been the one who's been giving me dope ass haircuts these whole time. But you know, we're just chilling over here and I hope you guys are chilling too because we're about to talk about the dopest effects from some of the sickest artists. I'm just so excited. I know you are too. All right, let's go. Anyways, a bunch of you saw the last video and were like, Nate, all of those videos were dope, but how come you didn't talk about any of this or this or even this? <laughs> I didn't even know that all of these other videos existed. So thanks for sending them in because I was like freaking mind blown when I saw them. You know what? We had to do it again. We have to talk about just some of the craziest, the dopest, the sickest, most amazing VFX coming out from the community right now. After Effects kind of transcends so many different things. You know, sometimes I'll do commercials. Sometimes I'll do a music video. You know, sometimes you can even design stuff and do some character animation, some 3D in there. So there's a lot of stuff that After Effects can do. And right now we're going to go through the craziest stuff that we've seen people do with After Effects. <laughs> Okay, so I got the phone right here. I'm gonna share some of my thoughts while I go through them, each and every one of these. Maybe we can figure out how some of this stuff was made and maybe how you can even get started. <laughs> Yo, okay, this has to be some of the sickest uh, cloning effects that I have seen in a while. Oh my goodness. This one comes from Raulanaitis. Oh my goodness, dude, I'm, I'm straight up butchering your name. I apologize, but what I am not sorry for is the fact that this video is so dope and we're talking about it right now. It says, anyone else bored? I know that in quarantine, I can definitely relate. Really sick cloning effect from, I'm gonna shorten and say Raul, hoping that's your first name. Pretty much goes through like his whole room. Honestly, like he soft flexing with that cabinet in the background. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that cabinet did not open any which way that I've seen a cabinet open before. <laughs> Yo, him underneath the, uh, the the chair there, that is sick. And yeah, pretty impressive the way that the camera is just panning around the room. So if it's like on this tripod head, which makes it kind of like, hmm, I wonder how he stitched together all of these different shots. I'm already assuming though that this camera movement is fake and that maybe this is actually just a really long panorama stitched together. That would at least be the way that I do and then I set up a 3D camera in After Effects. Let's see. Oh shoot, he actually put down a breakdown. Let's check this out. Ah, he is a motorized panorama that way he could get the same motion every single time that is super impressive oh my goodness yeah this is super dope and he pretty much just had to mask out each thing and just kept doing that over and over again yeah okay that is dope I always love it when a VFX artist also puts down the breakdown because that just kind of like reveals the magic trick to everyone else so yeah that, that was really dope man great stuff hope to see more and holy sh Took him 30 minutes to shoot and like six hours to edit. Awesome job, Raul. All right, let's get on to the next one. Okay, so this one says it's his first time using After Effects keyframing masking. And uh, he said it's extremely simple, but it made him want to try it out to do some more stuff. Let's see what he did. <laughs> Yo, okay, th this is already pretty cool. <laughs> I can kind of tell what he did. It looks like he uh, took like a freeze frame of himself and then he started masking out a certain body part like his head or his arm or his torso and stuff. And then kind of like moved it over in the timeline and add some keyframes to it. So yeah, that is pretty cool. <laughs> Oh my goodness, the end part with the head is hilarious. And this comes from a uh, Waxo 16. Shoot, this is a, uh... yo, this is pretty cool. Yeah, he killed it with the last head thing. <laughs> Great job, man. Dude, I actually haven't seen this effect elsewhere too. Kind of reminds me of like those uh, Dance Dance Revolution games. Shoot, I even did one in like a vlog that we posted on uh, Chriselle's channel a while back for uh, Valentine's Day. So shoot. <laughs> Yeah, pretty dope, man. Okay, so this uh, hand animation has to be one of the sickest hand animations I've seen, probably because it adds this uh, really cool liquid motion element. Now, 
I'm pretty sure he did not generate the liquid simulation inside of After Effects. Instead, I'm, what this looks more like is uh, two wave warps on kind of like these solids. And then they have these different uh, evolution settings and phase settings that's going to let them occur at different times, kind of mimicking the motion of liquid. Really cool. I like how it loops. It's always pretty impressive whenever someone can make something loop. And this is, yeah, really nice work from Rushod. Rushod. Uh, okay, I hope I'm saying your name right, man. <laughs> or woman. I don't know. Don't want to assume again. <laughs> ah, okay. So it looks like the hand animation is rotoscoped. And then, yep, someone also said that it would be two shape layers with a wave warp. Let's see. And yeah, Rush Odd says After Effects is pretty cool, especially when you throw in plugins and additional software, you can create a lot. I got to definitely agree with that because on the channel here, we've talked about stuff like adding EB Synth to create some cool face aging effects. Shoot, we even uh, had used uh, plugins because we talk about the top 10 plugins. There's always a whole bunch of cool plugins, so we're probably gonna be revamping that video soon. So make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out when that video comes out. And also, because we're gonna be talking about a lot of other cool dope After Effects stuff or motion graphics or VFX and a, a lot that's gonna be going on, make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell. Anyways, let's get back into looking at these dope VFX. Okay, so this has to be probably the best rigging in After Effects that I've seen. I've seen a lot of impressive character rigs, but this Simpson one is so cool, especially the way that it's able to get the and it says take a look at this rig which is probably the most impressive that these transitions are working so fluidly between the 3d head motion and all the different expressions and these expressions don't even look anywhere alike like the angry to happy and kind of sad and i don't even know dull what is this yeah really impressive i wonder what plugin this is what this person made manually all the controllers using shape layers and linear expressions oh my goodness that sounds like a whole lot of work that is so impressive wow and is this like is this uh two dead frog i gotta i gotta find out or if someone knows is if this is a instagram there's a whole bunch of cool stuff on here really really dope stuff <laughs> okay so this effect took me by surprise because first we have this girl kind of rolling out this wallpaper and then all of a sudden we have <laughs> This uh, slit scan effect <laughs> in which this other girl's arm gets like warped into the wallpaper and then all of a sudden she just flies away. So I don't even know how this was really made except for uh, shoot. <laughs> Let's see. I know that time displacement is able to get it kind of like these uh, warpy looking effects. Yeah, if, if someone can figure out how this was made and explain it, leave a comment. I'd be happy to read that. It looks like there is a script on AE scripts for slit scanning, but I, I don't really know if this is exactly how this person made it. Oh my goodness. Okay, up next we have another one from eMoney who was featured on the last video for a really cool effect where she was able to make this super stylized 3D looking neon sign for this Black Friday sale that just had this amazing technique of Illustrator to After Effects and then texturing within After Effects. Now we have another one that's a little bit more in the VFX realm where it's pretty cool. It looks like her and her boyfriend were, I, I gotta play the audio for this because even the audio is like a cool little uh, enhancement to the video. So me and my boyfriend have been spending a lot of time together since the quarantine and we're basically the same person now. So off the bat, like I didn't notice, but I'm thinking that that mirror is masked out and it's kind of like she took a video of herself what it, the perspective would be in front of the mirror maybe there's even a green screen over so that her boyfriend's hand doesn't have to get masked out or rotoed out manually but it does look like there's a little bit of roto going on there by the hand i'm not sure but yeah anyways this is a super cool effect all right so next up we have one from film with ryan or Ryan Johnston. <laughs> if you can tell from the last video, I gotta be a sucker for video games as well because here we have another kind of dance dance revolution mixed with Tekken looking video. Yeah, this looks awesome. <laughs> I really love the, the way that these uh, VFX are being incorporated with the dance moves to kind of just make this whole scene pop a little bit more. We can normally just have two dancers going at it one after another, but the fact that there's like these combos and little visual effects being brought into it, it's making the whole piece seem a lot more energetic and it has a lot more life to it. I have a brother that actually does dance. So early on when I was doing VFX, a lot of the stuff that I was doing was stuff where I was trying to make dance and VFX come together to make something like really cool and just kind of showcasing both of the talents there. So I think uh, Film with Ryan did an awesome job with this video.
Yeah, shoot. Oh my goodness. I'm just checking out his Instagram right now and he has a lot of other cool stuff. <laughs> I think it's always pretty cool when artists are able to come together in different ways and being able to incorporate dance with uh, visual effects is also super impressive. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it just adds like a whole nother element of depth to the video and to the choreography as well. Whenever we have someone who's like really good with their musicality, I love just, I even like these subtle glitch effects are just making this thing pop. Holy shoot. He also has like this Hollywood fire burning VFX shot. Huh? <laughs> yeah, this looks really cool. Yeah, really dope work, Ryan. Uh, this is looking forward to seeing what else you create, man. Okay, and of course we have to have one from Edward Ov, who is just straight up killing it when it comes to these 3D tracking phone and like, I don't even know, like Ultra HUD devices, things that he's just doing. It's just insane. Now off the bat, I thought that this was using something like Element 3D and then he's motion tracking his phone and using probably something like a tracker app to just get like, you know, the texture on and get a nice clean track. But yeah, at the bottom, he hashtags it like Octane Render and Cinema 4D, which if you guys don't know, Octane is uh, one of the most like powerful renders that I've seen just coming out in the last like few years or so. And Cinema 4D is a really powerful 3D animation. 3D modeling, just 3D in general program that ports really well with After Effects. So Edward OV tends to work with these uh, softwares a lot and it just looks really dope, all the stuff that he's able to do. Oh my goodness, he even has something where it's 3D is, but he's able to do like some really cool motion tracking and visual effects. I wonder if he's using a pack here for kind of like those explosion out effects, these color things that's going on. Uh, yeah, it just looks super dope. And oh my goodness, stop going on the same shit. <laughs> over and over again oh my goodness this is just so clean man love it i just love all the lights the little pixel gif in there the psp i don't know if anyone else has had a psp but that is definitely how i remember portable gaming actually shoot i came from like the game boy era so psps were like super high tech for me back then <laughs> anyways this is awesome oh shoot he even has like a video card in the bottom it looks like he's made his phone into like this uh souped up uh, computer rig oh my goodness this is so dope yeah really awesome work Ed Edward, Edward, I hope I'm saying your name right. Okay, so that looks like we have gone through all the super dope videos. That's all I have for now. <laughs> but if you guys have any other really dope videos that you just want me to check out and talk about on the channel, make sure you go ahead and send a comment. And hey, if you also like this video, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell because this channel honestly exists thanks to you guys just engaging, watching, and being a part of it. It's it's an honor to be a part of this community and to talk about a whole lot of really dope artists who are just doing groundbreaking stuff with all kinds of cool VFX techniques or motion graphics stuff and animation. And we're just looking forward to it. One of the things that you guys have been asking about is doing a design challenge, especially because a lot of us are cooped up during quarantine. So there's a lot of like creative energies that just are trying to get out. So we're gonna be putting together a whole list of challenges. I wanted to make it extra special by even having some sponsors be able to give away uh, some like really cool stuff. So that's like all in the works, but coming super soon. And I'm I'm talking like next few days soon. So <laughs> yeah, you're gonna wanna go ahead and follow us on Instagram at Black Mixture. Oh, I also wanna shout out all the super crazy, amazing work from the people who have been sending DMs and tagging us after watching the tutorial. I just loved watching these. It was really dope. Honestly, this community is alive thanks to you guys. Every time that someone posts something and just kind of puts it out there, I, I just feel like someone else is able to see it, gain that benefit and be like, okay, okay, if this person can also do it, I can also do it as well. So just keep sending it in. We're going to keep sharing it. And yeah, and maybe just maybe you might see your work in the next video as well. So ah, there, there's just so much dopeness. I, I just can't. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, I hope to catch you on the next one. Peace. Thanks, babe. Oh my goodness. Yo, can you see, do you see this? This is insane.